Here's a question that's going to become more and more important to the success of your business. Are your customers, clients or patients happy with their experience? How do you know? Who have they told? Did they leave a review somewhere like Google, Yelp, CitySearch, TripAdvisor or on one of the many other review sites? What if they're not happy and leave a negative review anyway? Would you know what to do? You're about to get answers to these questions. In the next 10 minutes, you'll learn why good reviews are critical to the future success of your business, and I'll teach you how to get positive feedback from your customers. I'll also explain how you can find out if people are talking about you online, and I'll show you how to respond to the reviews you get, good or bad. Hello, I'm Mike Major, and yes, it's an Australian accent, but I've worked with a lot of business owners in the US and in 11 other countries too. Of course, your business is unique, but the challenges you face are not. You want more customers and more sales revenue. But like many business owners, you're bewildered by the speed at which marketing is changing. For example, in just a few short years, the yellow pages have been replaced by online search. When potential clients, customers or patients are looking for a local supplier for a product or service, they Google it. Or they go to other sources like Bing, YouTube, or even Facebook. And that's why positive customer feedback is becoming so important to the success of any business. The widely recognized Bright Local study shows that 95% of new customers use a search engine to find a local service. 90% of consumers say online reviews influence their purchases, while 88% of them say online reviews are trusted as much as a personal recommendation. So now imagine you're looking to buy a product or service and you find three companies to choose from. Company A with mixed reviews, Company B with no reviews, and Company C with six five-star reviews. Who would you choose to buy from? Of course, Company C. And why is that? Because opinions count. Here's the first page of a Google search for CPA Houston. And if you don't already know it, the first search results page gets 91.5% of Google traffic. So, as the first business listing, you'd think Mike Maniloff is doing pretty good for new business calls. Meanwhile, page 2 on Google gets just 4.8% of traffic. Page 3 gets only 1.1%. And by the time we get down to page number 5, then poor Eric's search result might only be seen by his dad. Why is Mike at the top of page 1? It has a lot to do with his 11 Google reviews with a 4.4 star average. Google gives enormous weight to reviews. Their evidence of business is delivering what their customers need. And if you provide value to your clients, customers or patients, then Google will rank you higher in the search results. But more importantly, your star ratings affect customer confidence. 92% of consumers will use a local business if it has a 4 star rating, and 72% of your prospects will use your business if you have 3 stars. However, only 27% will buy from a company with a 2-star rating, while just 13% will try a business with a 1-star rating. That means a business with 4 stars would generate 3.5 times as many new customers as one with 2 stars. Most people are time poor, so the line of least resistance for a potential buyer is to search for customer reviews as social proof. Also known as informational social influence, Social proof is a psychological phenomenon sometimes referred to as herd behavior, where people look to others for clues. Which is just a fancy way of saying that potential customers rely heavily on the opinions of previous customers. Your prospects trust the opinions of previous customers, and they'll transfer that trust to you. So tell me, if you need your drains unblocked in Omaha, Nebraska, who are you going to call? Social proof is one of Dr. Robert Cialdini's famous six principles of persuasion. He says we'll use the actions of others to decide on proper behavior, especially if those people are similar to us. Consulting firm McKinsey & Co. says 50% of buying decisions are driven by word of mouth and testimonials, and Demian Farnworth says we've stopped believing big advertisers and started looking for others to tell us what we should do, buy, or think. Earlier, I asked if your customers are happy with their experience. If you're not sure of the answer, then I guess you're not managing your reviews. Because from what you've already seen so far, you know that potential customers are already searching online for local suppliers of products and services like yours. They're using reviews from previous customers to choose the company they'll trust with their business. And, as you can see, 
the Harvard Business Review believes it's time to make a dramatic shift in your marketing. Here's the true value of customer reviews. Checking that you did satisfy customer expectations. It's vitally important to any business, not just for the review you'll get, but also to build the trust you need for repeat sales and referrals in the future. So let me give you some tips for getting feedback from your customers. There's a surprisingly easy way to do it. Just ask. The three key issues are who you should ask, when's the best time to ask them, and how to ask them in a way that gets you an honest response. Ask your customers only. Don't be tempted to write reviews yourself or ask employees to do it. That's called review spam, and if it doesn't get your account suspended, it'll almost certainly damage your online reputation. Oh, and it's illegal. It's a form of false advertising, and the FTC will slap fines on companies that pay for fake reviews. You should ask for feedback immediately. The longer you wait, the likelihood of getting a review drops steeply. If you have the customer's email address, send a message with a link to your review site. And in a minute I'll tell you how to get one. So send an email request and then follow up three days later with a reminder email. You can also ask customers to check in while they're in store or while you're at their home. Some businesses offer an iPad with their review form already open, but customers might be uncomfortable doing that in front of you, especially if they're not happy for some reason. Another way is to prompt them with a review card. For example, health professionals, day spas and other businesses give out cards to their clients with the date of their next visit. Why not put a review request on the back of the card? Some of our restaurant subscribers do this to drive repeat business. The cashier gives out a card inviting a review and on the reverse offers a free cocktail on the next visit. That's not the same as offering an incentive for the review. Don't do that. It's against the terms of service for most review sites. Of course, you'll need to create a dedicated landing page where customers can leave their feedback. So now's a good time to tell you that if you subscribe to my Review Investigator service, then we'll create that for you. Remember, if you're spending money on any marketing activity, then you're waving a flag saying, check me out. The bright local study shows when potential clients, customers or patients become aware of you, then almost 9 out of 10 of them will research you online. If they search, they will find your reviews. In fact, last year Google combined search results with customer reviews. If you're like other business owners who didn't know this, take a minute to jump online and search for your own company. But what if the search turns up some bad reviews? They're not going to help your business too much, right? I mean, do you feel like eating in this restaurant? So what if you could head off the bad reviews? Find out what went wrong and do something about it before the review gets online. And what if you could take your good reviews and put them up where Google will find them and reward you with a better search ranking? That's what we do. We put the good reviews online while the bad ones are forwarded to you by email so you can contact the customer and solve the problem. We'll use colors and design cues from your website to create a feedback sequence which starts our filtering process. We give unhappy customers the chance to vent about their experience, and we invite suggestions for future improvements. You'll get these details by email so you can firstly satisfy this customer, and secondly, fix your internal processes so it doesn't happen again. It's good for business too. Remember that a better rating leads to a better search result, which in turn delivers more customer leads. And higher review rankings create more customer trust, so you'll also get better conversions. Of course, whether or not you subscribe to Review Investigator, you want to know what's being said about your business. In the digital era, one of the worst things that can happen to you is for someone to post an online review and you're not even aware of it. Google Alerts and TalkWalker are free services available to anyone with an email account. You can set up an alert to send you emails when your business name appears online in reviews, news outlets or other major sites. The other two work in the same way except they monitor social media, but unfortunately they're not free. You should make it a practice to follow up any alert results immediately, especially if they lead to a negative review. But you should also respond to positive reviews too. You see, customer reviews are valuable feedback, so be grateful to get them, whether negative or positive. The review and your reply won't ever disappear, so always be polite and helpful. People don't expect you to be perfect. What they want to see is a genuine human response, to know you care about their opinion. Make a note of my five steps for responding to a review. Start out by thanking them for taking the trouble to help you by leaving a review. Personalize your response to their situation and yes, use their name. We're so glad you're pleased with your clean carpets, Dom. Or, hi Shelley, I'm the owner of the business and I'm sorry you had a bad experience with our contractor. 
Now address the issue and nothing else. Show you've taken practical steps to resolve the problem and prevent it from happening again. Try to be brief. Why bother revisiting why something happened or how it went wrong? It's enough to know your customer believes there's a problem. Hard as it may be to get unfair criticism, resist the urge to give a long justification. Lastly, control your emotions. Of course you want to defend your business, but an angry response will reflect badly on you. Look, people aren't stupid. They can see when a reviewer is just venting their anger. And if you've given a fair and reasonable answer, they'll discount the negative review. Let's summarize what you've learned today. In this short video training, you've learned that online feedback is valuable social proof and has a huge impact on your business. You've seen how higher star ratings will influence your prospects and discovered that positive reviews act to increase trust, which improves sales conversions. Now you know how to ask for reviews and how to respond to them, whether positive or negative. If you haven't already, you should do a search for your company and see what reviews you have. And then you should set up alerts to make sure you're not blindsided by negative reviews. Imagine the value of a service that would do all this for you. If it could help you to get positive feedback and ratings. If it could head off negative feedback. If it gave you an opportunity to fix any customer problems before reviews are posted online. Review Investigator does all this, of course. It gives you a personalized website where you can send customers to share their feedback. It filters clients according to whether their experience was satisfactory or not. Happy customers are taken straight to the review page on sites which you can select for their importance to your industry. We'll capture contact details for unhappy customers and get details of their experience so you can resolve their issue and prevent it from happening again. Importantly, they're given the opportunity to make suggestions and have input into future solutions. It makes them feel their concerns have been heard. And this feedback is emailed to you so you can take immediate action. Think about this. If you don't take action to proactively manage your online reputation, then someday soon you'll be forced into damage control. After watching this video, you know that your prospects are already looking for reviews online. In fact, only 12% of people don't read online reviews. If you're doing any marketing activity, then you need to consider your reviews and ratings. Why? Because if, no, when, you get any negative reviews, your marketing will just be sending prospects to find those reviews. However, if you subscribe to Review Investigator, your personalized feedback site can be active within 48 hours. Simply click the button below, and after the secure checkout, you'll be taken to a form where you can give us the details we need to get started. Let's talk money. Whether it's in traditional media or online, if you're spending 5% of your turnover on marketing, the average for a small business, then as I said before, this could be money spent on driving prospects to find negative reviews. So a subscription to Review Investigator is just a small investment in proactive reputation management. But it's an investment with no risk. If it works to bring new leads and to improve sales conversions, then Review Investigator will pay for itself. And if it doesn't, then get your money back, thanks to my 60-day Love It or Shove It guarantee. Now perhaps you're expecting to pay $150 or $199 or something similar, which would be great value given the huge impact online social proof has for almost any business. But I want to keep Review Investigator as affordable as possible for any business owner in any industry anywhere. At just $79 a month, you'll easily cover the investment with just a few sales. So click the button below to subscribe now. And thanks for watching this video. I'm looking forward to working with you on the other side. Remember, after the secure checkout, you'll give us the details we need to get started and your review site will be online within 48 hours. It's a good decision for your business and it's risk-free. Click the subscribe button now.